Mr. Keval Patel, Assistant Professor from LJIT. So students, in the last lecture, we will discuss about our design of plate cutter in which we will discuss about our example number one in which there is no any stiffeners are provided, only end stiffeners are provided. Okay, so whenever there is only end stiffeners are provided, then it is clearly indication in the question that you have to design a plate gutter for unstiffen. Okay, unstiffen it means no any stiffeners are provided. Now, what is the difference between unstiffen and stiffen? So, there is a difference which is generated is in step number 3. So, basically what is step number 3? So, your step number 3 is section selection. Okay. So, at which point, what is the difference when there is a clarification regarding on stiffen or stiffeners are provided? So, let us discuss in today's session. So, students, in today's session, we will discuss about our example number 2 in which we have to provide it vertical stiffeners are there. Okay. So, now, we are moving further to our example number 2. Now, there is no any data change in our example number 1 and example number 2. Load is acting same. Span of plate gutter is also remain same. Okay. So, you can see that our question will be like this. In which design a welded plate gutter for a simply supported deck beam with clear span of 24 meter it means this is the same data there is no any change in our step number one and step number two but let us revise some revision fastly so design a welded plate gutter for simply supported deck beam span having a length of 24 meter it means a plate gutter having a span of 24 meter in which this plate gutter subjected to dead load is 20 kN per meter but this dead load is excluding self weight it means first of all we have to find out self weight of plate gutter with the help of this equation which is capital W divided by 200 next is live load is equal to 10 kN per meter Okay, this 10 kN per meter load is also subjected to throughout the span and this 24 meter span is subjected to two point loads having a value of 200 kN and this point load is acting at 6 meter from both the ends. Okay, so students this is the data given. Now you can see that what is the difference in our example number one and example number two so the difference will be like this design an intermediate stiffened plate gutter okay in the last lecture in the last example it is clearly mentioned that design an unstiffened plate gutter unstiffened plate gutter means there is no any stiffeners are provided while you have to design for plate gutter okay with thick wave using simple post critical method. So, in this example, there is a clear indication that you have to check for wave buckling using simple post critical method. Okay, so students, let us start our example number two, step number one, in which, first of all, whenever you have to design any component, your first step is to find out load calculation okay so for load calculation first of all you have to find out self weight of plate gutter and what is the equation of self weight of plate gutter it is capital W divided by 200 now what is capital W so capital W means total factor load on a gutter okay so you can see that in the question that there is two UTL one is 20 kN per meter and another is 10 kN per meter it means total 30 kN UTL is acting throughout the span and this 30 kN per meter is your unfactored load 
बट यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट फैक्टर लोन सो थर्टी इंटू ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू वन पॉइंट फाइव प्लस टू पॉइंट लोस हैविंग अ वैल्यू ऑफ टू हंड्रेड इज ऑल्सो एक्टिंग सो इट इज वन पॉइंट फाइव इंटू टू हंड्रेड प्लस टू हंड्रेड बिकॉज टू पॉइंट लोड्स आर देर ओके सो इट इज वन पॉइंट फाइव इंटू टू हंड्रेड प्लस टू हंड्रेड प्लस वन पॉइंट फाइव इंटू थर्टी इंटू ट्वेंटी फोर सो स्टूडेंट्स आफ्टर कैलकुलेटिंग ऑल द डेटास अवर टोटल फैक्टर लोड ऑन गड और इज वन सिक्स एट जीरो किलोमीटर नाउ दिस इज योर कैपिटल डब्ल्यू बट Your small W is capital W by 200, so you will get your answer 8.4 kilonewton per meter. It means this is your sulfate of plate gutter. Now, if this is your self, if this is your plate gutter, then sulfate is always in kilonewton per meter because this is a length. Okay, so this sulfate is acting as a UDL. So now total UDL is acting on a plate gutter is dead load plus lime load plus sulphate. So it is thirty eight point four kilonewton per meter. Now this UDL is your unfactored load. So your factored UDL is one point five into thirty eight point four. So you will get your answer fifty seven point six kilonewton per meter. And This 57.6 kilonewton per meter is also written as round figure 58 kilonewton per meter. Okay, now another two point loads having a value of 200 kilonewton. So this 200 kilonewton is also your unfactored load. So whenever you have to design any structural component, you have to design for factored load. So you can see that your factored point load is 300 kilonewton. Okay, so students, as per data given and as per our load calculations, our figure of step number one will be like this, in which a total UDL having a value of 58 kilonewton per meter is acting throughout the span, and two point load having a factored value of 300 kilonewton is subjected at six meter from both the ends. Okay. So as per data given and as per our calculations, our figure will be like this. Now we are moving further to our step number two, which is shear force and bending moment. So students, this is the figure which is find out from step number one. So you all know that this is a just basic revision of your mechanics of solid in which whenever you have to find out shear force, then first of all. You have to find out reactions. Okay, so you can see that this is your mirror image. Okay, this is your symmetrical figure because a UDL having a three sorry fifty eight kilonewton per meter UDL is acting throughout the span plus two point load which is also same value and acting at a same distance from both the ends. Okay, so. Whenever your figure is symmetric, it means your both the ends taking same shear force and same way, same reactions. Okay, so you can see that our both the end reactions, which is R A plus R B, is total load divided by two. So students, this is just a revision. So as per calculation in our last lecture, that our last example that. Our both the reactions having the value of 996 kilonewton. Okay, so this is our reactions. After finding out reactions, we have to find out shear force. So you can see that this is our upward direction and upward force is 996 kilonewton. Now this is our point A. This is B. This is C. This is D, and at the center it is E point. Okay. So first of all, whenever we are moving from A to B, from left to right, our first point is at A point, and at A point, only upward force having a value of 996 kilonewton. Now we are moving to at C point. 
so you can see that at c point there is two forces are acting first is udl and another is point load now you all know that whenever a point load and udl is acting at the same point then you have to consider at c left it means exactly at the left side and exactly at the right side okay so at c point you have to find out two values first one is for left side and another one is for right side okay so first of all we have to find out c left and for c left your upward force is 996 and your downward force is 58 into 6 because only udl is considered whenever you have to find out for left side okay so 996 minus 58 into 6 so you will get your answer 648 kilonewton okay now whenever we have to calculate for right side so it means at this point so at this point you have to find out two downward forces and it is one udl and another is point load having a value of 300 kilonewton so students our final answer at C right is 348 kilonewton and you all know that this is your mirror image this is your symmetrical figure so as per calculation from this side your mirror image and for negative side your answer will be like this okay so students this is the calculation of shear force after the calculation of shear force next step is to find out bending moment and you all know that in the question it is clearly mentioned that your 24 meter span is your simply supported span and for simply supported span your both the ends a and b having a moment of 0 kN into meter so your a end and your b end having a value of 0 kN into meter now at c point so you all know that whenever you have to find out bending moment then you have to find out for clockwise minus anti-clockwise so we are starting from left hand side so from left hand side one force which is RA is reached at C point with the clockwise manner so it is 996 it is load into perpendicular distance so it is 996 into 6 and another one load which is acting on C point with the anti-clockwise manner which is your UDL acting on this side okay so whenever UDL is acting then your moment equation is W into L into L by 2 so it is 58 into 6 into 6 by 2 which is equal to 3 so you will get your answer 4932 kilonewton into meter okay now we are moving further to E point and you can see that at shear force diagram at E point it is your point of contraflexure. It means your shear force is zero for E point and you all know that your bending moment is maximum only and when at which point at point of contraflexure. Okay, so let us calculate at E point. So, one force which is moving from downward to upward side which is RA and this RA is reached at this point with the distance of covering of 12 meter. So, it is RA into 12. So, this reaction is in clockwise manner. Now, there is two anti-clockwise forces is acting on E point. So, it is first one is UDL. So it is 58 into 12 into 12 by 2 and another is this force, this 300 into 6. So students, you will get your answer 5976. So you can see that this is the calculation of the bending moment and shear force. So students, this is just a revision of your example number 1. Now, what is the difference? between the unstiffened plate cutter and stiffened plate cutter so it is already discussed that the difference is in step number three 
and you can see that your step number three is section selection so students in the next lecture we will discuss about section selection and at which point there is a major difference between the stephen and unstephen trade cutter okay so students this is the end of our today's session thank you